so we're really excited that they can come here and speak with us about uh, local business, local jobs, and other things. So um, some of you are eating now, uh, but we, we'd like to get a few things out of the way before we hear from our guest speakers. Uh, so if we could, uh, uh, first of all, I'll start off with uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. I'll note that correction, thank you. What's the question? I couldn't hear her. Remember you spoke about the meeting that where they were going to take money from our East Coast? Right. Right. Well, I, did I hear on the radio correctly that the mayors from the cities were fighting that? I mean, that, I that, that's that. correct. So the, 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 uh, on HB 170, um, the proposal was that they were going to take away money that should go to local communities through their penny taxes, right. and they would send it up to the state. And, and the way that that was working out, the cities would lose a lot of money, but potentially the counties would get more money in Elmig money. Um, 
And so the counties weren't necessarily opposing it because for them it could be better, but at the expense of the cities. Um, mayors and city managers from around the state have been trundling up to um, Atlanta and a revision of HB 170 is um, available. Now how good it is, not really clear, um, but it has changed from before. So I, I'm, I, I'm still not crazy about it personally. Um, we tax ourselves, we choose to tax ourselves like we do with SPLOS, lost, um, East Blost. Um, so the state shouldn't get involved in our money, if you will, uh, in my opinion. The person. Okay, well, the person that you need to call. No. Yes. The person that you need to call always is the local delegation. So our local delegation is Dexter Sharper for the city of Valdosta, um, John Corbett for the south of the county, Amy Carter for the west of the county, uh, Jay, Jason Shaw for the north of the county, and Alice Black for everybody. So those are the four people that you should, five people, five people that you should be contacting. And just ask them to keep the, our money local? Yes. Okay. If, if I can add something to that. Both school boards and Valdosta City Council have passed resolutions to that effect. The Wilds County Commission has not even discussed it in a meeting. So there's <coughs> someone else you can talk to, your local county commissioner or the chairman, and ask them to take a position against this, I would call it, theft of our local tax money by the state, because the state doesn't want to raise taxes, they want to force the local governments to do it. So what Gretzky said, plus talk to the county commission. Great, and uh, just in case, I know sometimes people have to leave in the middle of the meeting or whatnot. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll talk a little bit about it at the end of the meeting, but we are doing what's called a cash mob, where we're going to spend our money at a locally owned and operated business, which is Stan's Quality Meats Grocery Outlet, which they just had their one year anniversary on Westville Avenue. So we want to show people that Democrats support locally owned and operated businesses. So we'll be there all day. We have yard signs, balloons. So even if you could just stop in just to say hi. Uh, spend what you can, but if you can't spend anything, that's fine. Just show up tomorrow. So I'll be there most of the day, as will a lot of the members. So please stop by. Uh, so without uh, further ado, uh, our three guest speakers are going to.